Star Brethren. Your number one source for everything Starbound. Hello everyone, I'm Kimo and welcome back to Starbound. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about where to find each and every single ore that you will ever need and each and every bar that you will ever need in order to craft and progress through this fantabulous game. Now, I am not going to be going very much into depth about where and how to craft each of the furnaces that you need in order to progress through the game. This is mostly just going to point you to where you need to go if you're looking for particular bars. If you want more specific details on how to to craft and get to each of the stations you need. I recommend watching my progression series. I'm also going to be making some specific guides down the road um, that, that, that go into specific detail about how to craft particular stations. Alright, the first planet we're going to talk about isn't a planet at all, it's actually the moons. On the moons you can gather liquid Arceus, if I even pronounce that right, which is the fuel that you can use to power your ship. You're going to find these in almost, you're going to find these in every star system, so it just depends on what, there's usually one per solar system. You'll also find plutonium later on deep down. If you dig really deep, you'll find plutonium, but not much of it. The next one we're going to talk about is also harmless, but this one is a barren and lifeless world. On barren planets, there is nothing. No ore, no trees, no liquids, no life, no nothing. There's not even tunnel systems. It's purely for building, if you even want to use it for building. I personally prefer Lush, if you're going to do that. And speaking of Lush... That's going to be the next one on our list. On lush planets, which are found in gentle star systems, you will find coal, iron, copper, silver, platinum, gold, and diamond. And I'm going to be sure to put these up on the screen for you. If you look down in the description, you will find detailed information on my discoveries about where specifically you will find these within the planet. And I searched about five planets of each to come up with this information. Now your information might be a little bit different, there's literally trillions of different planets out there, so it's pretty likely that your information might go against mine, but the main thing is that people find this specifically what they're looking for on these planets. Next one is mostly harmless planets. You're going to find these in both gentle and eccentric stars. The, on these planets you're going to find coal, iron, copper, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Mostly harmless planets do not require any kind of special suit to go to. Next is moderate planets. You will find these in eccentric and radioactive solar systems. On these you're going to find coal, copper, silver, gold, titanium, platinum, and diamond. Notice that iron is no longer in there and titanium is. Next is Risky. You can find these within eccentric, radioactive, and frozen solar systems. On these you will find coal, copper, uranium, silver, gold, titanium, platinum, and diamond. The main reason you would come to one of these is for uranium. Also, to be on a Risky planet, you do have to have the radiation suit. Next is Dangerous, which you will find within radioactive, frozen, and fiery solar systems. On this one you'll find coal, Copper, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, rubium, age assault, and violium. Uh, to get to these, you are going to need the cold suit. And finally is extreme, which you will find within the frozen and fire fiery solar systems. On these, you'll find coal, copper, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, rubium, and solarium. The reason why you would come to these planets is for solarium and huge amounts of rubium, age assault, and violium. And in order to get to extremes, you have to have the fire resistance suit. Alright, so let's talk about crafting bars now. So you're going to need the stone furnace, and the stone furnace is created within the crafting table. So you go into the stone furnace, you're going to be able to create copper, iron, gold, platinum, silver, and titanium. After that is the alloy furnace, which you get from the iron crafting table, which you get from a quest. So within the alloy furnace, you're going to have copper, gold, steel, which is, the, which is the important one, iron, platinum, plutonium rods, silver, titanium, and uranium rods. The main reason you want the alloy furnace and the main progression piece is the steel bar. You're also going to need uranium rods for several crafting recipes. Uh, plutonium, I don't believe, gets used. And the final smelting station is the magnetic crucible, which is created from the robotic crafting table, which is created from the iron crafting table after you obtain 
a processor, which comes from Dreadwing. So you create the robotic crafting facility, and then out of that, you're going to create the magnetic crucible. From the magnetic crucible, the main things you'll want is refined age assault, ferrosium, ceruleum, impervium, refined rubium, solarium stars, durasteel, and refined violium. Uh, I know this was a lot to cover, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have everything on screen. I'm also going to have all the information I covered in this episode down below in the description as well as as a comment along with my discovery rates for various planets. Again, your information might differ from mine, so unless I'm missing something completely, um, don't worry too much about it. Like I said, it's going to be different for everyone. Uh, but if I miss something entirely, like I didn't list something that you would normally find on the planet, just let me know. All right, everyone. So if you think I missed anything, please let me know. If you think this video will help someone out, be sure to share the love. And I hope this video helped you out. In the meantime, you guys all take care. <laughs>